This is the kickoff presentation for the 2012 school year. Here's your host, Will Costas. Thanks again for being with us for this momentous occasion. As things unfold, you might be wondering to yourself how the teams are training for this world stage. Well, we had a few moments to ask some of the competitors and trainers about their strategy. Take a look at what we found. my approach? Yeah, I want my athletes to do what comes naturally, you know? I mean, who am I to tell them what's right, right? So I encourage them to be one with the arrow and then just let it go where it wants to go. <laughs> Our approach to training is to help them plan godly goals and then for them to aim for them and then make adjustments to help them reach the target. I remember when I was in third grade, Mrs. Cavanaugh uh, encouraged me and helped me uh, set a reading goal and she ordered an entire book series, 40 books, and she encouraged me to read every single one of them and because of her influence I ended up reading all of them and now I love reading. I like to connect my athletes back to their roots. You know, to their beginnings. Swim! Swim like the fish you once were! Like you did back in that primordial pool! We teach students that they are fearfully and wonderfully made. God has given them many gifts and talents and we want to take those talents and foster them so they can use them to glorify God. I remember the time when I was sitting with a couple of my friends and um, we were just talking and then the topic of evolution came up and I just felt so confident in what I was saying because of the teachers that taught me here at CCA. Here on Team Facade, I do not care about what happened on inside. As long as it look good on outside, that fine with me. You like muscle? Easy peasy. What? We know that nobody's perfect, even at CCA. And we know we have a lot of difficult situations that we have to confront together. And together we like to work through all of these difficult situations with Christ as our strength. Well, I was going through this problem with my friends and um, you know, I went to uh, one of the teachers for advice. And they didn't give me this huffy puffy advice um, on how to deal with it. They gave me a biblical stand on it and it worked out perfectly. We get the children at an early age and raise them as our own. We feel the parents get in the way and cloud the children's minds. I want my mommy! <laughs> God gave these kids to their parents. That's why parental involvement is such a crucial part of training children. We really encourage parents to be engaged with what their children are doing and learning here at CCA. A while ago, I was having trouble in comprehensions, but the teachers at CCA gave my mom and I stuff to work on at home, and now I'm at the point where I need to be, and I'm testing fine. We always look out for number one, and uh, we are, how you say, winners? Winners. We, we, winners. 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 Winners? That does not sound right. And if you do not crush your opponent, pee, pee, I spit on you. The Bible says, no matter how well we speak, how good we are, or how smart we are, if we don't have love, it profits us nothing. So in everything, we incorporate the importance of love and compassion. God's love for us in Jesus 
and our love for others. If I could say anything about the teachers here at CCA, is that they have taught me to love my neighbors as myself and to treat others how I would want to be treated. There you have it, a few strategic approaches from across the land and how Team CCA prepares its students to compete on the world stage. This has been a CCN special report. We now return to your kickoff presentation for the 2012 school year.